Welcome back to Short Game Pros. I'm Coach AJ. Thank you for joining us today as we explain how to hit the low punch draw out of the woods. First thing we need to look at is stance width. I've placed tees at my normal stance width. Now watch as I move my feet closer together for this shot. I've also moved from a center ball position to a back ball position. Moving the ball back will help ensure ball first contact. In addition to making a more narrow stance, I am also standing a touch closer while choking down one inch. Gripping down will help you shorten the swing, improve your tempo, and help you make better contact. Next, we need to look at the shaft lean. With all great iron shots, the shaft will lean to the target, and that is especially true here. Make sure that when you lean the shaft, you maintain a square club face. Most players think that you may need to close the club face or hood the face for this low punch draw, but hooding in the face is an option only if you're really trying to sling it or hook it, but be careful as you are likely to hit it low and not reach the fairway. Quick pause here in the action. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of our awesome videos as we all strive to have more fun on the course and shoot lower scores. Now let's talk about the swing needed to execute this shot. Hand height in the swing is below shoulder height on the back swing and the through swing. From the face on view, you can see how all my pressure is on the left side in my downswing and you can really see the shaft lean at impact as we just discussed. We need a club path that is swinging away from us or in to out with a club face that is aimed to the target at impact. This will lead to us hitting our draw. Okay, so we've got our stance width, we've got our ball position, we've got the swing that we're trying to execute. Now we need to select a club and how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna do that based on the window that we need to escape through. So, so often we choose clubs based on distance, but in hitting these recovery shots, we do not care about the distance so much as we do the window. Most important is to get it out and we're getting out and advancing it to the green. So we wanna do that, but we don't necessarily just wanna fall in love with the distance because escaping is priority one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab five clubs. So I grabbed a five through nine iron and I'm gonna go over to the range and I'm gonna hit some shots and I'm gonna see how high all of these go with the type of mechanics and the setup I just showed you. Then based on those heights, we're gonna know when we go to the golf course, which one is the right one. We do know that distance with this type of shot is only gonna be about 75% of a full swing. All right, so now that we know our windows and we know our approximate distances at 75%, if a window does not match perfectly with the distance, again, always focus on the window. If you need to take a little speed off one of your longer clubs to hit the window and still maintain a shorter distance, that is great. But either way, focus on the window and not the total distance. Thanks so much for watching today. I know that these tips will help you hit better low punch draws out of the trees and make more pars. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for being with us on this journey.